In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Marvel Rivals not launching on PC. So in case your game is not launching and you're using Steam on your computer, here's how we're gonna fix it right now. And that's actually the only tutorial you need because only these three steps will fix your game almost guaranteed. Now, the first one will be, we're gonna open up Steam over here and we're gonna open Steam as admin and launch the game via Steam itself. So over here, you simply wanna close down Steam with this X button go down here to your taskbar, click show hidden icons, right click on Steam and click exit Steam. This will start shutting down Steam and then when that's doing it, there we go, you want to go to your taskbar yet again, right click it, click task manager and in here you want to search for Steam up top. If there's nothing showing, that's great, however, if there's anything on the list when you type in Steam, you want to click on each and every single process and press end task. So if there's many, click the first one, end task, second one, end task, etc. Make sure there's nothing popping up once you type in Steam. Once you've done that, Steam has been completely shut down on your computer, and we're going to now open it up as admin and launch the game that way. Now, you want to go to the search box, again, look for Steam, right click it and run as administrator. This may ask you to type in your admin pin, if it does just do it, nothing bad will happen and then you'll have to wait a few seconds, it may even ask you to log in again, if it does simply sign into Steam with your username and password and then once this loads up you'll see Steam as you usually would anytime you're playing. So there we go, now what we're gonna do from here is actually go to our library over here look for your Marvel Rivals game, click on it and launch it via this play button over here that's gonna sh show up. So there, there will be a green play button, click it and launch the game via Steam. Do not launch it via your shortcut on your desktop because that will not work, launch it via Steam. That's the first thing you can do to solve this issue. And if that didn't solve your issue, we're gonna go to the second step now, which is to run the game using DX11, DX12 or D3D11. Now, what this means is essentially you want to go to Steam, Library, find your game and right click on it and then press Properties. In here, under ge the General tab which usually opens up as the first one, you want to go under Launch Options down here and what you want to do is type in here DX11, so dash or minus DX11. Now you want to go in, dash DX11, there we go, and then what you want to do is close this window down and then simply try launching the game. If that still didn't work, what you have to do is repeat the process, just replace this with 12, so DX12. Close this down and then run the game with DX12. And if that still didn't fix your issue, what you want to do is actually copy this command as well next to DX12. So you want to go in here again, properties, and then do a spacebar after 12 and do a dash D3D11. Once you've done this, yet again close this down, launch up the game and see if it works and at this point it should and your game should be launching up normally. And then if even that didn't work, the last thing you can do is verify the integrity of your game files. And the way you can do this is inside Steam, yet again you want to right click and click properties, so you come to this exact same screen right now. And then what you want to do is go to installed files and of course if that didn't work over here you want to delete this, go to installed files click verify integrity of game files and this will scan through all the files that are related to your game and if there's any bad files, missing files or something else in there, it will clean that up, fix it and install the new files that are missing without reinstalling the entire game on your computer, which means that's very convenient. Now once you've done this, it should take a few seconds up to a few minutes depending on how many errors your computer can find and once that's done, click X and then click play yet again to see if the game launches for you and at this point it really should. So that's pretty much it, those are the only three fixes you need. I hope this video helped you out and if it did, please subscribe to the channel and help me out as well.